Hey guys, Sam here with Batch Stoves. You know, back in 2011, January, February 2011, uh, we saw the end of the Heineken keg can. And that was a favorite among ultralight backpackers and hikers. To have something just to uh, heat up water to dehydrate meals. The Heineken keg can was the go-to favorite for uh, most people. Well now, <clears throat> unfortunately, our friends at Budweiser uh, decided to get rid of the Bud Light aluminum bottle as we know it and replace it with a screw top type bottle. Now, although they look very similar, uh, they're both 16 ounces, they're both about the same height. Uh, the neck's a little bit different, but not too much. The big difference between the two is uh, the properties of the aluminum in which the bottle is being made. Uh, the, Bud Light, <clears throat> the Bud Light aluminum bottle was made out of very malleable um, aluminum. It was a, a very soft uh, grade of aluminum. This is more uh, on the harder tempered side. It's not as pure. I'm sure the aluminum that's in this bottle is not quite as pure as the aluminum that's in this bottle. And therefore uh, it doesn't lend itself well to uh, making aluminum bottle stoves out of it unfortunately. Uh, for those of you that are used to the one piece type stoves where the the outer edge is just rolled over and pressed down and you have a thin wall those stoves I, I don't see any way of them being made out of this bottle this is more on a, a soda can type it's thicker than a soda can but it's on the same it's the same type of aluminum uh, as that's in a soda can why they went to this I'm not sure I, I guess they thought that the flip top was a feature that people would enjoy but uh, I've never known anybody to open up a beer and then, you know, screw the cap back on and save it for later. So, uh, most people that drink beer uh, open it up so that they can drink it. I, I think it's kind of uh, pointless, but I'm sure somebody, uh, somebody at Budweiser thought that it was a great idea. So, we are left with this as our aluminum bottle that we need to... If we're going to make aluminum bottle stoves out of it, this is what we'll have to use. I'm sure there's other companies that make this type of bottle, and I'm sure there'll still be some around. Some of the energy drinks, but they're a different size. And this is this is kind of big for the kind of stuff that most people do anyways. So, fortunately, I have a very... Uh, I, I have a pretty good supply of these bottles, and I'll have them for a little while. Uh, but for those of you that <clears throat> want to make one on your own or or, <clears throat> or haven't got a hold of, haven't picked up a bottle stove yet, if you're delaying purchasing one uh, from me or anybody else, I suggest that you uh, jump on the bandwagon real quick because once these bottles are gone, they're gone. And I don't see them coming back at all. Uh, I know they use these on cruise lines. These are a lot lighter. Uh, quite a bit lighter um, than the old one. I'm sure that's another reason. That it's probably cheaper for them to make it to. Let's see. Uh, let's see how much the original bar weighed. 49 and a half grams versus 31 and a half for the new style bottle so you can see it's it, it weighs uh, almost yeah almost 20 grams about 18 grams lighter uh, the finished stove <clears throat> uh, is going to be about 16 grams versus the original bottle stove is about 26 and a half grams so you cut about 10 grams off the, the stove. Now I was able to manufacture a stove 
and let me show you what what it looks like now right off the bat you can see some darkening this is one burn on it this stove has one burn with heat uh, gas line antifreeze and you can see what happens uh, this side of the stove uh, right off the bat you can tell it's different this one probably has at least a couple dozen burns on it and there is no no real sign that you've used this at all really so right off the bat that's one difference in the two they are the same uh, diameter the bottom is different uh, you can see that this one is flat or this one is domed more like a soda can uh, this edge is is round this is a little bit more round it's a little bit bigger radius than this not that that makes a difference those are just some of the differences between the two um, and you're not going to get this nice edge anymore with this I haven't played around with it a lot this is what a few tries this is what I was able to um, accomplish uh, if you anneal it a little bit soften it up a little bit you get that now I will say that it is it's still pretty sturdy I mean you know it takes a lot of it, it take a lot of force to dent this but it could be dented more easily than the older one and because of the two-piece design it lends itself well to uh, vertical strength so I wouldn't hesitate standing on this one. I think this one would probably hold my weight just fine, just like the old one did. Uh, so that's not too much of a big deal, but it's definitely a different, not everybody's gonna be able to make these, uh, make a stove out of these, and definitely not make the one-piece style stoves anymore. So those guys that if you like those one-piece stove, the BIOS that Tini over at Mini Bull Designs makes, or um, the Cobalt that Zelf makes, uh, those are two major people that I know that make the one-piece style stoves. Uh, if you want one of those, you better jump on them quick because I don't think that they'll be able to make um, a bottle stove out of this new bottle. Uh, I did do a boil test on this. It wasn't very um, clinical, so I just wanted to see how it would do, and it did okay. Uh, I don't remember exact times. I think it burnt about over 11 minutes total burn time, but which is really pretty good for a bottle stove. I think it did take a little bit longer to bloom, which I'm not really sure why that happened, why that was, but. Uh, at any rate, I will have the old styles uh, in stock for a while. These are just as expensive um, and time consuming to make, if not more so. Actually, these are a little bit harder for me to cut uh, because of the type of metal it is. This, this metal kind of, it's like kind of like a soda can, it kind of tears uh, where excuse me, where the original bottle stove, you couldn't really tear that aluminum sheet. So, that's that. Uh, the, the biggest difference is the weight. Like I said, uh, it's about 10 grams lighter, which is a good thing, because uh, these people didn't like these so much because they were kind of heavy. These are, I mean, right around the, in the range of some soda can stoves, I would think. Uh, right at 16 grams I mean it's extremely light versus your 26 gram yeah so it's exactly 10 grams lighter so we'll see how it goes uh, this is looks like this is what the future is, uh, is going to be uh, I'll work on trying to get this rolled edge looking real nice that was one of the things I really liked about uh, the way I rolled my edge they all came out really nice and these are crinkled a lot. Sometimes the, these would crinkle a little bit, uh, maybe one or two creases in there. But 
this is pretty much all the way around so it's not compressing when it goes around real well but it does hold together good I mean it's it's gonna be a durable stove um, these I would say would last a lifetime if you you know as long as you didn't run over them with a truck or, or crush them or something but as long as they stayed intact I don't think you would ever burn these out these I'm not so sure about uh, only time will tell so you'd probably get enough of you'd probably get enough use out of this that you'd feel like uh, the money you spent was worth it so we'll see so all I can say really now is uh, rest in peace aluminum beer bottle uh, we're gonna miss you as we've missed the Heineken cake can and Another sad day for the alcohol stove uh, enthusiast. I'm Sam the Batch Stoves. Thanks for watching the videos. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and have a great day. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to do some more bull tests, so we'll have some videos of that coming up. Uh, thanks for watching.